Once you have logged into your account and you're ready to register for classes, the first thing you're going to do is to see if you have any holds on your account. A hold is not a negative thing, but what it is telling you is that something needs to be completed prior to registering for your upcoming semester. In order to find out more information about that hold, you can click on the hold and it will give you information on what the hold is about as well as who to contact to find out more information and see what you need to complete in order to get the hold removed. Once this is complete, the next step is going to be for you to go to My Academics, Enrollment, Enrollment Add Classes. From here, you do not need to click any of the buttons at the top. You'll simply go towards the bottom of the screen where it says My Requirements and then press on the green search button. Once the page loads, it will show you areas that are needed for your degree or certificate. The great thing about the system is it tells you exactly what is needed for you to complete whatever you are trying to earn. If you look, it says not satisfied in certain areas. As you begin to sign up and register for classes, as well as begin to take classes and earn credits, you will then complete these areas and they will move from not satisfied to satisfied. Now let's proceed to sign up for a course. So for example, if I want to register for SOS 1122, we can click show details for fall 2016, and then we'll simply click on the course that we would like. From here, it provides us information about the class. For example, Monday and Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 9.20 a.m., Daytona campus, who the instructor is, and what the dates are. It's important to pay attention to all of this information as you don't want to sign up for a class on a different campus or starting on a different date if that's not what you want to do. If you look, these classes all appear to be closed. Closed indicates that students have registered for these courses already. It's important to sign up for classes early. The sooner you register, the more opportunity you have to get the times that you would like. But what we can do is we can scroll to the very bottom of the screen and click view all. What this will do is provide us with more options to see what is available and what we are able to sign up for. So what I'm going to do is look for a class that is available in Daytona Beach. So for example, I would like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 1230 to 120, Daytona Building 140. Gwendolyn is going to be my professor, and the dates are going to be from August to October. So if I want this course, I will press select. Once this loads, it then puts the course within my shopping cart. I have not officially registered for the course, but I am planning to take it. If you are trying to add additional courses to design your schedule, the next step would be for you to press the search bar. Go back to your My Requirements and press search. Once this loads again, it provides you with information on what is not satisfied and what is satisfied. Now, my SOS 1122 is showing is satisfied because I am planning to take it for the upcoming fall semester. If I would like to sign up for another course, I would go under my not satisfied, press show details for fall, and click on the course. Once this loads, I can then pick a time, for example, Monday, Wednesday, 10.30 to 11.30, Daytona, Francis, from August to December, and I would simply press select. At this point, again, it verifies I want this course. I would then press next, and then from here, it puts both of the classes within my shopping cart. Again, the shopping cart does not mean you're registered for the classes, but it shows you what your days and times are. If I would like to proceed with registration, I will press proceed to step 2 of 3. From here, it would be wise to read the information, click here, and then click I agree to submit changes. The last step is going to be to press finish enrolling. Again, you get to verify your schedule one more time, and then click on finish enrolling. It will then show you that you were successful at registering for your courses. That is how you register for classes.